project car. So a few of you have already guessed on Instagram, you might be able to guess by where I am and it'll all make sense when I reveal what car it is. I'm just sorting the paperwork out, I've gave the money over but it is project car day and I'm picking it up today. I'm looking at it right now and I'm really excited. It's not nothing majorly special but to me it's going to be a really fun little project to work on. First drive, I'm, I'm pretty sure people are going to guess because some people have already guessed. Oh hang on, let's push this out. Oh yeah. There, lucky windows work. It's a beast. It's a beast, lad. <laughs> What's the clutch like? Fucked. No, I'm joking. It's sound. The brakes are pulled over about six layers of mould on it. Oh, listen to the turbo whistle. Oh. Oh. Hey, he's doing it. Can you hear that? <laughs> Dump out. Hey, this is sound. <laughs> <laughs> I've not told them what it is yet, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they'll be able to guess by. Oh, and then again, what secret was on, so. Oh, mate, it's perfect. Is it good? Yeah, there's no knocking. Pulled like a train. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what, it's sound, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's, there's no it's, knocking. No, it does seem sound too, right? Yeah, yeah petrol sound light's on that one, that's the first issue. Petrol light was just come on, mate, you've got to be right. About 100 miles left in this thing. <laughs> Literally. Let me get up to 30 and I'll tell you when I'm breaking. Okay. Which, I'll, which I'll log it takes to start. Okay, go. <laughs> Just flat on the brakes. <laughs> well, not grinding or anything. It just must be terrible, terrible pants. Probably just rusted a bit. Yeah, but we're getting up to temperature yet. Oh, we're at temperature, that's cool. Just do it. Yeah, doing a couple hours, make sure it stays at temperature. Do a little pull. Gotta do a little pull. Made the brakes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <the> brakes. <laughs> right, yeah, I'll brake in a minute. 50 to zero, ready? <laughs> if anything, I'm gonna plant my foot on the brake. Okay. <laughs> Do it on a straight. Wait for it. It just doesn't stop, it's that powerful. <laughs> Do you like it, lad? It's cool with it, though. So, I bought. This is, this is, for those of you that watched the old video and said, um, when I said that you'll know what it is if you watch Lee's videos, this is the Corsa C that's been sat on Lee's drive. I'll tell you the story behind it. What happened was, um, my sister used to have a Clio. She had a Clio that was in the family for around about five years. And she had this Clio and it was bulletproof. Anyway, the, all the electrics failed one day and it was pretty bad. So she needed a car quick time. So stepdad and mum bought this for her, just, just as like a runabout until she got a new car. So she got, we bought this. Uh, got it from a garage and she was driving around it for a, for a good while to be fair. And then what happened was she was on the motorway one day and the water pump went. In this? Yeah, in this. Right. So the water pump went in this. They took it back to the garage where they got it from. Uh, they Then they changed the water pump uh, and then my sister got a new car. So they, basically the last thing they've been doing, it had a brand new water pump. It had a brand new water pump and a brand new belt. It's had the tyre belt? Yeah, it's, it's had the oh. tyre belt done. I don't know if it had it on the water, while the water well, changed the water pump. It's under 100,000 miles. Yeah, it's it has, it has had a tyre belt. It was 98,000. Uh, and then, and then, sister, my sister, the car was fine, but my sister just didn't want to drive because she didn't trust it because she was on the motorway and it just completely conked down and she had no brakes or anything. It was pretty dangerous, to be fair. Uh, so, so yeah, my sister then got a brand new car and then it's just been sat on the drive ever since, literally. And stepdad's put a brand new MLT in it and stuff. And, and it because just, the other day, I was thinking of a project car and then I looked at it on the drive when we were working on the Evo and I said, wait. Why don't I buy that? And Everyone always said it to it. me. Everyone was like, I have it as a budget car. I was like, yeah. I don't really know what I'd do with it. I was like, maybe what, what, you know, when I have the time, but I don't really have the time for it at the minute. So your mum came out and I've just literally said, right, Made an offer. Yeah. Made an offer. I mean, to be fair, they bought the car for, I can't remember, they bought the car for around about six, seven hundred and then 
Uh, Richard spent a few hundred quid actually getting the MOT done on it and stuff, so yeah, it, it owes us about a grand, really. Yeah. <laughs> so you even got washer fluid. Then. And it works. Hey, I'll tell you what. Well, it's just an MOT, so. It's better than VX all this. Yeah, at least the Vauxhall people will be happy as well. It's actually like one of the happiest sounding Vauxhalls I've ever I'm been. I'm really surprised. <laughs> Isn't it? It's been sat for how long, do you say? Four, four, five months? A, few, a good few months, And yeah. we turned it on and it started second time, didn't it? Yeah, it was just the starter motor struggling in a little bit. Just it's not been turned up in so long, but. Oh, this is going to be such a fun project. Yeah, it was fun. Time. I can imagine it's the same sort of thing because you, you like Vauxhall, don't you? So it'd be kind of I like... I am a fan of Vauxhalls, but I just think... Yeah, you, I the, like the they've got a little bit in your heart. Yeah. See, I'm like with Renaults. I like, well, yeah, I, I'm like with like Renaults, so I think... It, well, the my way dad's had one for like 17 years. I think, that's what I mean, so I think it's the same... That's my sister, actually. She might be able to get the drive now. Yeah, you will. Do you even know this one? I don't know. I guess not notice her own car. <laughs> First thing you need to do is uh, disc and pad change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because them pads weren't touching them just then. Hard, not. not hardly, you can see it. Very, very hardly. I reckon they've just, uh, the, the sliders have probably just seized a bit. I'll tell you what, the paintwork as well for the age is pretty sweet. Well, it's good on camera to be fair. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. What colour do I get it wrapped? Just do something mad like. Mate, rattle can it. you got to rattle can it. Shall I? Yeah. Oh, so I just plastered it the whole car. Plastered it the whole car. Do it like... like do it like bubblegum pink or something. Bubblegum pink, same as your jumper. <laughs> yeah. Lowering or like matte black. Action. Matte black from Alfred's or something. Mate, the, the fuel light light's well cool. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. That's well cool. Oh, no, I'm well happy with it. You like it, lads. So yeah, I'm just going to finish off with the paperwork. I'm really, really happy with this. I think it's going to be such a good move for the channel. If I do end up getting like an EP3 or something, at least I can stick with kind of like someone's like like a first car kind of base like I did with the SRI. So people can follow and still keep up with the videos on doing little mods to this project car. Now, a lot of things that I'm going to do to it aren't going to be practical. It's just a project car. It's a laugh. It's something fun that I won't take much care in. But in the end, I want to really make it something special. I love the paint. It's already got black wheels. And to be fair, if I was going to buy a Corsa C, it'd be this shape because I think they really do look nice. I, 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 like, I, like Lee said, something with voxels, I do like the shape. Whatever stick or stigma they get, I do like the shape of voxels. But this is going to be such a good step. I'm really looking forward to this. I think tomorrow I'm going to strip the rear out. Then I'm going to get two bucket seats, get a boss kit, new steering wheel. I've got so many plans for this, but that's for another video. But let me go do the paperwork, then we'll go park up somewhere and get some cinematics of the car, but I'm really excited for this. This is going to be such a good step. It is actually so weird seeing my own car on the road, like being driven. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean, but it's just it's just really weird seeing your own car without you in it, being driven on the road. But we're in the project car. I'm going to go put £10 worth of petrol in it, just, uh, just so it's got a bit of petrol. And then we're going to get home and maybe even do some bits today. I'm not too sure. This is a really like exciting day for me. Uh, just having a little project car just to mess around with and to be fair what i want to do as well with this is, is learn a lot about um about like the mechanical side and, and kind of like use it to learn by my mistakes in a way because like i said in every every single video i've never ever claimed to know anything mechanically about cars so this is hopefully going to be fun but at the same time like educational so i'm really looking forward to this as you can see my smile on my face I'm, oh, I'm just really happy it's such a such a cool little car it's gray as well which is like my favorite color for a car and it's literally perfect for what i want right so so we've been at bp for about 20 minutes trying to open the fuel cap we googled it but, but now we need to find a way to start the car because the battery's totally dead yeah, we might be here a while. <laughs> what can we do? We've got jump leads, but we've got no car. Mate, no, we're going to have to just push it around here and try and jump start it. Let's just do that. <laughs> I need to charge the battery early, really, don't I? It's going well, this project car shot. Right, you ready? It runs fine when it's on. <laughs> right, we're going to push it, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> 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 just uh... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Where's he going? Where's... <laughs> right, I'm gone, right, get ready. <laughs>
<laughs> right, we gotta go. we gotta run back and get the course. Oh my god! I say yeah, you. Get that van, he'll do it. <laughs> absolute legend with the vans letting us jump it. But look, it's an absolute beast when it's on the road. Shout out to this guy in the van. Absolute hero. <laughs> right, we're gonna take the battery off. We're gonna we're gonna drive back to Jess to take the battery off. What do you say? Turn the kick. <laughs> and then we're gonna um, <coughs> take the battery into Halfords and see if uh, see, we're gonna put it on the test and see what it says. If, if it's a battery issue or an alternator issue, it could be a battery issue, but we'll have to just see. I hope it's a battery issue. Yeah, so. so we're just gonna run the battery into Halfords. Hopefully it's okay and it's not an alternator problem. But if it is, it's another video to get it fixed. We're gonna put that in there. Hopefully it's okay, like I said. And then I think I'm gonna wrap the video up. I'll go over a few like future plans for the car and uh, why I bought that car. But yeah, it's getting a bit dark. So tomorrow we'll be starting to work on the course of C. So yeah, I'm coming late. The old battery was absolutely knackered. So I've had to buy a new battery. First mod for the course of C for the SXI. I've had to buy a new battery, which hopefully might sort the key problem as well. Maybe, but we'll see. So. Oh wait, it's double in it. But at least now I've bought it, it's going to be done. So it's it's got a brand new battery from Alfred's, and it's just out of the way. It's one more thing, one less thing that we have to do. So we're going to put that in. Hopefully it starts, and it's still not the alternator, but the the other battery was pretty screwed, wasn't it? It had 84 amps out of 360. So 84 yeah. amps out of 360. And the test that we use actually measures the cells inside, not just the amperage. And it said replace advice, so the cells were knackered as well. So, so yeah, it, it was pretty knackered. So we're going to change it and hopefully it runs and then we'll have a little bit of a talk. Moment of truth. You ready? Yeah. Ah, oh, problem fixed. She's live. She's alive. We love a quick and, well, right, not, right, as much, that tool? not as much cheap fix, but we love a, an easy fix. So I was going to sit in the car and have a little talk about what's going on. But I'm gonna go inside, set the camera up because it's just too dark. It's absolutely pitch black outside. So I'm gonna go inside, lock the both cars up. Well, it sounds so weird saying that. Lock both of the cars up, and then we're gonna go inside and do the rest of this video. So yeah, if you didn't already know, it's a Vauxhall Corsa 2005 SXI. And a lot of you might be thinking, I know a lot of you are expecting like a Japanese car or something like that, but this car, is a, it's, it's a car that a lot of people get for their first cars. And I kind of want to go back to that what I was doing with the SRIs, like cheap mods for people to do on their cars, whether they've like got a black box for their first year, um, and people that want to do stuff to their first car without actually like going through insurance or like having to do anything major. So I kind of want to go back to that. That's the reason I went for a course of C, and it's been sat on Lee's driveway for a really long time. I never, never actually thought to even to even buy it, but it's mine now. It's all mine. It was Lee's sister's, like he said earlier in the video. But yeah. The reason I went for this is because if I'm, if you didn't already know, I'm, I'm in two mindsets whether to sell the VXR or keep the VXR, but if I move on from the course of VXR, at least I've still got the course of C's, the project car, to kind of keep it in related with the channel. And I think it's going to work out really well, um, meaning that I can get whichever car I want next to replace the VXR and still have the like first car mods on the channel so i think that's going to be it's, it's going to be the best thing for the channel and honestly the car is perfect it's a really good little car for the price i paid i'm really really happy with it and i can i can just do whatever i want to it now a lot of people before you even comment on any future videos some things i do to it are going to be stupid some things are going to be for fun some things are going to be silly and then some things will be like actual things that if you have got a course to see for your first car that you could do as well a bit like the sri videos like i said so yeah i hope you boys enjoy the course to see i hope you stay tuned for all the videos to come on it like i said i'm still in two mindsets with the vxr situation whether to sell it or keep it i'm not too sure yet but for now we're going to concentrate on the project car do a few things to that uh, there will be vxr VXR videos as well. I want to do a POV driving video of the VXR as well. But for now, we're going to concentrate on the project car videos 
and tomorrow we start in the first mods you could so called call it i'm going to i'm going to go really far with this car i'm going to just do like i said some stupid things maybe even like rattle cam the whole car just really fun things to do um, without actually having to to take care in it because obviously i've got the vxr as my daily car but yeah i hope you boys are as excited as i am it's a really good little car i can't wait to see what i turn it into i'm thinking the theme of gray and orange so like orange alloys i'm maybe looking at some team dynamics for it but that's for a future video i'm going to do a future video on like future mods and stuff like that and future plans for the course to see but yeah, hope you boys are as excited as I am, like I said. And yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to producing all the videos and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you boys are going to stick with me for the journey. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.